So, so we start now, Sensei. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Agusta mau jadi moderator enggak? Saya so soalnya mau bal. Halo Am Agusta. Atau ini nih Jerman itu Qatar, nih biasanya Arif ini. Halo Arif. 
Guys, ini siapa Jerman for Qatar Wolf? Iya, siapa itu? Biasanya yang nama-nama aneh itu Arif. Uh-huh. Guys. <laughs> Mas Arif jadi moderator ya. So, Waduh. Stay di satu tempat. Ini susunan acaranya gimana nih? Ada di dalam surat. Saya saya. Rasa mau saya. Itu apa? Ini nih. Mas Nuk mau sampai berapa jam? Setengah jam. Sampai jam 11 Enggak. Sambutannya mau berapa lama? Sambutannya jadi dua menit aja cukup. <laughs> Ya udah nggak usah pakai waktu kalau gitu ya. Tapi acara ya. sampai jam 11 ya. Acara sampai jam 11. Termasuk tanya jawab. Betul, kalau betul. ikut jadwal kan sampai 20 menitan loh. Ya. Ini kan keren ini moderatornya dari Jepang. Tapi pembicaranya dari di, di, Jakarta. Sana nggak ada mas. Eh balik tapi nanti saya Jumatan kepotong. Ya, main jadi, aja. Nanti closingnya nanti langsung aja sama saya atau sama Agusta. Eh, Agusta Sama, kepotong, Jadi, mas. Ya, ya nanti ada Om Om Deba di sini. Di sini ada muridnya juga. Nanti Om Deba yang lanjutin sebagai moderator. Iya. Ya, monggo Mas Arief silakan. Eh, kameranya kok nggak jalan? <tuh> Sensei, Arief Kun. Arif Kung, uh, be, to be the moderator for your, for your presentation from from Japan. He he become the moderator from Japan, but you are in Indonesia. <laughs> Balik ya. <laughs> Moderatornya di Jepang malu mau bicara di Indonesia gimana? Halo Arif Kung. Yes, Sensei Wahyu saya mas. Oh, always the better there. Halo, Ayo. Sang. Halo. There's oh, another. Ah. How are you? Oke, okay, kini Other... kan. Ima Indonesia, Irasi Maska. <laughs> yes. There are other students, sensei, like Pupu Dusang and Nam Kaisang join here too. Oh, Pupu Dusang Nam Kaisang. Yes. Good morning, sensei. Ada Pak 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 Uh, Nadira sang maybe you can mute. Yes. Miss Nadira. Kita oh, okay. And Okay, maybe it's okay now. Uh, Mas, saya boleh jadi co-host biar bisa mute peserta ada yang eko nih. This make me as co-host. Udah, okay. Wait, Start, Mas. Ya. Oke. Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's it's very uh, my very nice weather here, and I hope in uh, Indonesia also has a good weather. Uh, and this is my pleasure to welcome all of all of you to join this uh, monthly seminar, 
this time we will invite the lecture invite, invited lecture from professor yozono kuchi from kyoto university which is our supervisor here we also there are also some students like uh, nukroho sang uh, uh, suprianto sang and also lab member here as well as uh, all participants from research center for sustainable production and life cycle assessment uh, good morning everyone now i would like to open this uh, seminar and we will start by welcome address from the Nukroho, Dr. Nukroho Adisa Songko from uh, Director of the Research Center for Sustainable Production System and Life Cycle Assessment. And according to the schedule, we will provide the welcome address around 20 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. Welcome address is a keynote speaker. <laughs> okay, 15 minutes. Okay, uh, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, please. And, uh, time and place is yours. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, not, not yet, uh, Thank you very much. Very much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, participating in our morning seminar on the life cycle assessment. Uh, we are from the uh, Research Center for Sustainable Production System and Life Cycle Assessment uh, under the Research Organization of uh, Energy and Manufacture at the National Research and Innovation Agency. Uh, we are very happy and delighted that. Uh, Today, we have an uh, invited speaker, a speaker from Japan, uh, from Kyoto City. And before uh, Arif Setiawan uh, become the moderator, his position in Japan. <laughs> but uh, the keynote speaker is in Indonesia. So it's a uh, it's, kebalik, uh, yeah, reverse. <laughs> reverse situation. The speaker from uh, he's Japanese, but he's Indonesia. But the moderator is Indonesian, but in Japan. <laughs> uh, I don't need to explain much about our research center. I think everyone's know about uh, our research center. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, not much people know about us. Uh, our research focus. Uh, uh, we have a spe specific research focus. Ada, ada bocor suara. Verify, verify. Our research focus mainly on the industrial ecology and sustainability assessment. And we are also do the research on the life cycle inventory, uh, life cycle assessment, and also do con conducting the research on the uh, product development, standard standardization, circular economic, and sustainable engineering research. Uh, let me... I think I, I need to explain uh, my our research center in my presentation slide. Just wait uh, 15, uh, 15 seconds. Just wait a moment. Ini bisa bantuin yang bocor-bocor nanti di close ya. Iya ini sambil ngelihat saya. Sebentar ya. Slide saya mana ya? Saya biasa taruh di grup. Uh, 
Oh, yang paling putih. Sebentar ya. Ya, wait a second. Ya, oke. Ya, sorry, uh, take times. So, this is uh, just short presentation about the, our research center. Uh, our research center for sustainable production system and life cycle assessment. We have a uh, focus on the several scope of activities. Uh, start from the industrial ecology and sustainability assessment uh, from the industry and product level uh, as a as a narrow low uh, uh, product oriented level meso level like industrial and eco industrial part and global wide uh, framework such as uh, supply chains and we also develop the national life cycle inventory as national database uh, for big data to support the industrial revolution 4 to 5 and also support one data indonesia as the benchmark and reference for uh, for comprehensive information on production process technology blockchain uh, in all industrial activities starting from upstream to the downstream and we also develop the methodology measurement systematic dynamic assessment temporal spatial and also impact for environment uh, economic and social performance as well as uh, standardization labeling and product communication including the eco label product environmental footprint environmental product declaration energy star carbon cycle carbon neutral with all related with the carbon uh, uh, management and also uh, conducting the research on the natural resource, resource scarcity, agricultural region, urban area, industrial zone, and also product through all of the life, their life cycle. We also conducting the research on the sustainable engineering research in the green industry and eco in the eco product design and engineering. And the last, we also conduct the research on the circular economy, including the local content. Our uh, research center uh, currently has uh, almost 130 staff, and we have uh, all, uh, almost 34 doctoral uh, holder. And now today uh, we have uh, around eight staff who conduct uh, their uh, doctoral degree, both domestically and, and overseas. Overseas include in the Jap in Japan, in Sukuba, in uh, Wageningen University, Netherlands, in Thailand, and other uh, region as well. And we have uh, 13 research group in our research center. Uh, start from the research group on the sustainability assessment, eco design, and industrial ecology. I'm not anymore the. I'm not anymore as the. Uh, head of this uh, research group to now uh, Dr. Prosmeka. She was previously worked for the Ministry of uh, Agriculture, now in uh, joined to Brin and become the our uh, one of our research group leader. 
The second research group are the, is the standardization and conformity analysis for the life cycle assessment by Ahmad Ismet Januar. And the third is uh, bioindustrial green chemical technology, Dr. Nur Hayati Jarot. The fourth is the uh, research group for development sustainable industry cluster and domestic component level, Dr. Darmawan. The fifth if is uh, sustainability sustainable city region and development and low carbon development, Dr. Harry Aprianto. The sixth is uh, research group of sustainability and life cycle assessment polymer related industry. Uh, Bu Erni Supocho, and the seven is the research group on the life cycle engineering, Dr. Oktaufik. The eight is a research group for integrated agricultural production system and food industry, Dr. Nasirovic. The the nine the nine is a research group for continuous measurement and data processing instrumentation system, Dr. Yaya Suryana. He is. Dr. Nobuchi, his Dr. Yaya was graduate from Sukuba for his doctoral degree. His master from uh, UK. Uh, he is uh, the the chairman of the uh, Sukuba alumni, <laughs> Ibaraki alumni, at the moment. And uh, ten of the research group is the uh, life cycle assessment and climate smart agriculture and forestry. Dr. Dudi Skander, he's no a big boss <laughs> in deputy <laughs> and also we have a research group on the circular economic sustainable engineering in agro industry so dr tri martini was previously a uh, director in the ministry of uh, agriculture since she's uh, researchers she joined uh, our uh, brain as uh, together as researchers mm -hmm. and now uh, her uh, research group and her uh, researchers group are working uh, from Yogyakarta, mm -hmm. almost uh, 20 and 20 uh, researchers uh, to be his uh, her research group in Yogyakarta. So and the 12th research group are is a uh, research group of uh, environmental social economic assessment in natural resource management and institutional development. Dr. Forita also was formerly from the Ministry of uh, Agriculture. Now, a research group uh, are working from Semarang, Sumukungaran. And the 13th is a research group for carbon cycle management and emerging technology and sustainability for climate change mitigation, uh, Dr. Nadira. And this is just visualization uh, activities of the our uh, research group uh, research center activities conducting the environmental product uh, performance index conducting research and in industrial 4.0 including the life cycle inventory and life cycle uh, assessment and circular economic we also very close to the uh, activities to support the standardization uh, from the product level to the uh, wide level including the supply chains and we also conducting the research in the uh, ecolabel type 3 environmental product declaration uh, based on the footprint and this is uh, activities uh, just uh, short information about uh, all of the research group in our research center research group 1 uh, the leader is Bu Rosme, Dr. Rosmeika research group second is uh, Pak Ahmad Ismet Januar this is the third research group. It's very strong research group. Dr. Ira Nur Hayati Jarot. Uh, they, are, they have uh, plenty of uh, cooperation agreement with many companies and uh, regional uh, region. We this is also research group. Research group uh, uh, number four, uh, Pak Darmawan on the sustainable industrial culture and domestic component level. Uh, Dr. Harry Aprianto, lead, lead, leader as uh, research leader for the sustainable city regional development and low carbon development. And Bu Erni Sukoco, she also very strong woman. <laughs> uh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> uh, very strong, co conducting many uh, cooperation agreement with many companies even one of her staff now already retired 
uh, almarhum Dr. Uh, almarhum Sulaiman, but she still very strong uh, to lead the this research group. And research group, the life cycle engineering research group, Pak Octavik, Dr. Octavik, he also very strong because his member staff mostly are former director and then uh, member of Dewan Pengarah, Dewan Pengarah Brin. <laughs> so this is very political, very strong research group. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Nasirovic, I never, it's very rare to meet him in office because Nasirovic prefer to stay at the field. Uh, he has uh, many projects on the farm and then in remote area, including Papua, Sulawesi, Kalimantan. So it's very rare to to see him in the office. Mostly he stay in the in the field. And is is a uh, research group also very strong because uh, Pak Edi Willows in here. <laughs> Pak Edi Willows is the apa ya namanya begawan bahasa Inggrisnya apa? The most expert uh, LCA in Indonesia. And he has also staff in Papua, Pak Arifudin Kasim. Pak Bambang juga ya dari Kalimantan sebelumnya. And Pak Yaya, Dr. Yaya was uh, he he's the president alumni of the Sukuba Daigaku and Ibaraki and he has a, a strong project on the data acquisition and instrumentation system. And Dr. Dudi now become the big boss in the deputy so his research group no idol for the moment. <laughs> and Dr. Fo Tri Martini also very strong. They publish many reput uh, in the very high reputation journal and produce a lot of patents uh, uh, with his with her research uh, activities and member research member. And Dr. Forita conducting the research from Semarang, uh, Jawa Tengah, Central Java. Uh, recently, she conduct uh, research cooperation with the uh, UKSW, Universitas Kristen Satya Wacana Salatiga, and uh, Semarang Region. And then the last, Dr. Nadira, uh, lead the research group for the carbon cycle management and new sustainability technology for climate change mitigation. Uh, Professor Irhan Febrianto, he also graduated from Japan on undergrad, master, and doctoral in Japan. Uh, I think he a half of his life in Japan. And he one of the strong people, strong person in Indonesia who who run the carbon trading market. So very ex expert and experienced in carbon trading market in the one of in the world, especially with Indonesia. So thank you very much uh, to the, uh, for short presentation. So if anyone interest to have collaboration and discussion on the research with our research center, we are very happy. We are uh, in Puspitek Serpong, Tangerang Selatan. Thank you very much. Makasih, Mas Arif. Oke, okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Nugratisa Songko, for real welcome remark. And I would like also welcome uh, all leader of research group in research center of LCA which I saw attending here and in the offline in the Serpong and there are also some outside member of research center such as from research center 40 uh, and this is there are also member of our lab Agusta Sang and uh, uh others also halo yeah. well, yes kalau di Korea pakainya bukan san pakainya nin <laughs> nim yes <laughs> agustan nin yes and this okay and uh, sudi sudi sini also join us okay thank you and there are also member of research center 40 which join us maristo and other college welcome And now we are entering main stage uh, le invited lecture by Professor Ryozo Noguchi. And I'm very sorry because here will be 12 and we will have pray time. So the next moderator maybe 
Pak Deba or other Mas Deba aja Top. Deba Yes please IPB. For the question and answer session later ya. Oke okay. Profesor Noguchi uh, You will have time around 30 minutes And after that we will have uh, Question and answer You can talk more than 30 minutes and say <laughs> please enjoy your talk okay thank you and please have your time and say thank you okay, I still mute uh, yes. it okay oh yes, oh, yes. how the echo noise uh, uh, i will check you know, so stop the, the, your mic yes. It's okay? Okay. What? Okay. Still echo, but there is no other one. Uh, all have been uh, mute. Yes. Hmm. Kenapa, Mas? No, kok masih echo ya? Hello? It's okay? Yeah. Ah, uh, now okay. Now, sound okay. it's okay. Uh, tarif okay. Now. Yes, okay now. Then. My sound is okay. Okay, okay, okay now. Yes. I cannot hear your voice. Uh, okay, sensei. Yes. Okay now. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hmm? Cannot hear. Uh, sensei. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, yeah. sensei. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I understand. It Hello, Arif. Yes, yes, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yes, okay. Louder. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're going to stop the speaker, so okay. Okay, sensei. Please start. Yes. Hi, Arif. Eh, so, ja, hajime masu ne. So, nesukashi na. May I sit in a desk in the chair or stand? Which is better? Yeah, yeah. Which? Debo kayaknya. Maybe it's better. Nah, but stand is okay. Jadi, jadi ini. Operator, operator, operator. Yeah. You can send in. Oh, enggak, saya aja, saya aja. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I use my PC. <laughs> like a like a Zoom meeting. Okay. You can send in uh, your mic, please. Yeah, maybe. So I can control it. It's okay. Okay, so I'd like to start. Thank wow. you very much for the inviting me. So as a guest of the, your excellent seminar, monthly seminar on the life cycle assessment the, and uh, under the brain. So Nuguro-san is the first PhD student in my laboratory in the University of Tsukuba, my former PhD student. So I already uh, had uh, seven Indonesian <laughs> PhD student in the uh, University of Tsukuba. Yeah, Nuguroho, Ansori Dani, Spriant, and uh, Augusta, and uh, David Tora, Devi. Ah, that, uh, Devi. And I also have uh, three Indonesian students just waiting to the, getting the PhD in the University of Tsukuba. So I moved from the University of Tsukuba to Kyoto University this April, this April. So the, they are stay in a position of the University of Tsukuba, but so I'm uh, also so the, 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 the uh, teaching and uh, <coughs> coordinating so uh, their research in the university, uh, their members. Okay, today I'd like to, uh, in, to, uh, to present my title, it's just that uh, I'd like to share my screen. It okay. Okay. Today my topic with uh, ah, sorry sorry. Sorry what you got? Sorry. <laughs> so it's different. It's what you got. Okay. So today my title for presentation is a life cycle assessment for the for organic agriculture, the food production, according to the new eating style. 
So now I'm belonging to the uh, graduate school of the faculty, uh, graduate school of agriculture in Kyoto University. So I'm very interested in uh, relationships, the agriculture and environment, and so using the life cycle assessment and other new assessment methods. So the today's content is uh, as follows, life cycle assessment on the coffee production, which is the one uh, uh, doctoral thesis uh, written by the Devi Sam, my former PhD student. He, she is now working in the Pajajana University and already returned to the uh, Ambat and start to work again. And I'd like to introduce the related research in organic farming. Maybe so the summer group of the, uh, you are how to say research center, group eight, group 10, group 11, and group 12. So they are very interested in agricultural sectors. I think that they all know about it, but I'd like to pick up the two papers. And, sorry. Mute? 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 It's okay, everyone can hear. Okay, we can hear. Okay, and uh, so I'd like to uh, introduce the one uh, concept of the ethics for agriculture engineers. And uh, if I have a time, so I'd like to introduce my laboratory research. In the beginning, so the, I'd like to make sure the position of my research. So uh, I was educated in the uh, agriculture machinery laboratory in the Kyushu University and then sent to the Skiba University. And uh, finally, so I'm starting to study uh, <clears throat> my work from this April in Kyoto University. That, that means so that I'm not alumni in the Kyoto University. <laughs> I'm not alumni in the University of Tsukuba. But so that I had uh, many for my PhD student, so that I'm very familiar with uh, these uh, <clears throat> universities. So the, this is one of the graph, uh, so the drawing of the how to consider the, our position of the research. So the, uh, in the Kyoto University, we have a name of the agriculture, but there are no name of the agriculture at the University of Tsukuba. So the, I was belonging to the Faculty of Life and Environment Sciences. There are no agriculture. It means so that we have to compete each other to the biological sector and agricultural sectors. However, so biology sector, they have a very familiar to the high impact factor journals. So that if we have only the one index or the impact factor, <laughs> always, so we defeat <laughs> by them. So the, but, so the important thing is that not only the compete such kind of the index, so that we have to insist our importance of our research. So the, this is one of graph, science and the design and in the research field. So I'm uh, strongly related to design field, okay? Science is just that uh, many science, uh, science, scientists so the seek the Nobel Prize and make new discovery and so on. This is just they want to find a new finding. No one, no one, never, uh, no, uh, nobody seen it. Like uh, explorer or climber or to the Everest and the explorer to the space and so on. However, so the, what is the position of the design? Design just is uh, creating the future, creating the future. Mm. So I think the scientists just explain the theory, but so that our position is uh, creating the future. And now I'm uh, the, my laboratory and the agriculture system of engineering. So the, it deals with the agriculture machinery, robotics, and also the uh, environment uh, assessment. I think my position to create the new future. So that is the most important role of our laboratory. I think life cycle assessment has the almost the same positions to check the when a project, it, uh, this project is good for the environment or not, or how to improve to the, uh, the process, each one. But finally, so you imagine the good future for the uh, in, uh, good uh, design of the near future and contribute to the politician or the other decision maker to support so the good uh, data. And I also use this uh, this uh, slide. So, uh, this is one of the famous anime in uh, in Japan, made in Abyss. And there are some uh, explorer is uh, uh, playing the important role in this anime. 
Okay, so the, this with uh, <laughs> this explorer is almost the same the position of the scientist. <clears throat> and I introduced the uh, Steve Jobs. He already did, but the, and the, his idea is already created in the, almost before the thirty-eight years ago, almost forty years ago. I'd say someone not so young generation, not born at the time. But Steve Jobs created and emerged in the future. What kind of the information tools is suitable for after 40 or 50 years? They draw a sketch like the left one, and finally, for so he developed and reached the goal of it. So, the design research is less similar to this one to emerge in the future, near future, or far future. And what kind of the design of the society is required? And after that, we uh, conduct uh, many uh, calculation and research uh, uh, new robotics in agriculture. Okay. So uh, please understand my position of my uh, research and uh, I'll get to start again uh, my topics. And this is among the, uh, the outcomes of the life cycle assessment of the coffee production. So the, this is one of the publishing paper, uh, Lama uh, Debbie. Debbie. Uh, and uh, so this is one of the co-author. And he is now, uh, she was the doctor program in appropriate technology and science for sustainable development program. It's the same program in the uh, joint. And she uh, studied about the, how much the effect of the organic farming in the coffee production in Indonesia. And many people like coffee in your countries and your production and productivity and increase year by year. And also the, how about the one in the Brazil, Vietnam, Colombia, and you are the fourth position of the coffee production of the world. And also the uh, world coffee demand in the increase year by year. I think the coffee is the most favorite, the beverage in the old world. And however, so the, I very, uh, very surprised. So uh, your country uh, managed the farm uh, coffee production is a small holder or uh, almost the 90.7%. The close to the, how to say close to one hundred percent coffee managed by small holder. It's very surprising for me. And uh, what kind of the production is suitable in a country? It is uh, one of the important uh, issues in the agricultural sectors. And also the, they checked it uh, activity, uh, productivity, and economic benefits. And also, so the coffee production, not only the related uh, uh, to environment assessment, and also we have to check the, the economical situation and what kind of the business model is suitable. And uh, finally, so we have to uh, consider the SDGs, <laughs> the very, very typical world of the world. We have to follow the SDGs. And uh, uh, yeah, we also we check the, the environment, economics, and the energy, and uh, the SDGs are uh, evaluation point. And uh, this is one of the potential of the organic coffee production. So organic food is very, very popular and uh, the spreading all the world. But so I think that I'm uh, checking the, the environment damage, the organic uh, farming. So later I'd like to introduce one example for the life cycle assessment of the organic farming. However, so that your country has a very big potential of biomass production. And uh, I think you like the uh, chicken, uh, chicken meat and uh, it means the poultry population in the Western. Uh, there are most, uh, more than, uh, for how much? The, the 826 million, right? So the, and so they also produce a lot of the manure, so the, the fresh manure. It means, so there are many potentials. So you establish a recycling system that are from the such kind of animal waste and uh, uh, plant waste and uh, combating to the organic fertilizer can use this. Okay, so the, this is the, just the purpose of this research, the energy, economic, 
environment profile on the intensive kite production in Indonesia. And before, so uh, all farmer uh, using the conventional system with a massive fertilizer in different level, lower productivity. And it means so that there are need for improvement, how to produce the coffee production at a sustainability. And the farmer doesn't have a, uh, enough information, so that we'd like to provide the good information for them how to improve. So the, it is our uh, purpose, and so we'd like to introduce the comprehensive sustainability evaluation in in-depth coffee management system. And finally, so we'd like to contribute to the farmer and their income. And uh, this is the one target of the coffee production in the West Java. So I call a sub-district of Sintoragu Krata. <laughs> Sorry, so I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this is the one of the uh, area, so just we target. And this is a very important point. So the, when we uh, get the data from the fields, so at first we have to make a friend, <laughs> have a friend with the farmer. And after that, we can get the data. In Japan, so I use the same approach of them, but in the, in the initial stage, so the farmer very uh, reluctant to our <laughs> investigations. But so the, in this case, so the uh, so maybe, maybe some, so had a good the relationship for them, so and we can get the enough uh, data from them. And uh, we also checked the uh, energy and uh, for the energy applications and the environment life cycle assessment we use and uh, economics we life cycle, life cycle cost analysis. Okay, and uh, so this is the one a stage of the coffee production seed, uh, seed stage and the planting stage and the maintenance stage. And uh, after that, so we can ready to harvest the period and we have to successfully uh, collect the uh, cherry beans. After that, we draw the one uh, material and energy flow like this one. So this is a seedling stage and the nursery stage, planting stage, and we need a maintenance one to fourth year. After that, we can get harvest from the uh, coffee uh, trees. And we uh, circulate this uh, five to ninth year, that is the harvesting period. After, after that, so we uh, should be planting and seedling again. That is the one of the life cycle of the coffee production in the field. And we pick up the what kind of the energy and the, what kind of material we should use in each stages and pick up the old data and make an inventory analysis and analyze it. And we uh, so that we uh, the, this farmer use the three type of the different the system. One is the organic fertilizing system, and one is the mixed with the chemical and organic that we call the chemical organic fertilizing system. Final is a chemical fertilizing system. They use the three type of the fertilizing system, organic, chemical organic, and the chemical fertilizing. Okay. So please remember the OFS, <laughs> COFS, and the CFS. O means the organic, CO means the chemical and organic, C means the chemical. And uh, uh, after that, so we found uh, for there are so many large part of the, how to say, the energy requirement, the uh, kilogram of the uh, coffee production in a, a fertilizer. In the fertilizer including a poultry mania, compost, liquid organic fertilizer, and rice husk, and NPK. So the fertilizer contributes significantly to the energy used in all coffee production system. That it was contributed at 69% of organic farming system, 66% of the chemical and organic farming system, and 54.6% in the chemical pathway system. When I conduct this kind of the LCA in the paddy rice field in Japan, so we use the machinery. And that means so we use uh, uh, diesel and uh, have, so sometimes we use the pump uh, to the taking the irrigation of the water, it means that we will electricity. But so I think the, this coffee production and a small farmer, not mechanized. That means so the all part of the energy consumption is occurred in the fertilizers. 
So this means, so how to reduce the energy and how to can, uh, consider the environment damage by the fertilizer, very important role for changing to the chemical only fertilizing system to the organic fertilizing system. And especially, so this is uh, three type of the farming system, organic farming system, chemical organic farming system, and chemical uh, fertilizer system. We found that the poultry mania is a very large part of this one. Because so the poultry mania, we have to transport from the fertilizing area, sorry, composting area to the coffee production areas. So how to improve the poultry mania, the energy consumption, and uh, yeah, so very important, the solution for decreasing the total energy consumption in the organic farming systems. Okay, so this, and also we checked the several, so the uh, life cycle impact assessment, global warming, terrestrial association, and so on. And the organic farming system emitted the lowest and the negative impact to the all environment, the all impact categories. That means organic farming system is suitable for these kind of the index for the environment. And uh, this is just the uh, uh, how about the distribution of the uh, what is the contribute to the each factors, and uh, this shows the organic farming in the transportation mainly contribute the emission, uh, emission with thirty three point seven nine percent contributions, and uh, also the chemical farming system and uh, chemical and organic farming system NPK that is the uh, uh, nitrogen. Phosphorus and the carbon is a dominantly contribute at the emission to the environment. So it means so the, how to change or how to consider the fertilizer system is very important to be a successful for in the organic farming system. Okay, this is now conclusion of this paper, and uh, yeah, I just insist again: the fertilizer is a hot spot on the consuming energy. And the organic fertilizing system is recommended due to the emit the lowest environmental impact. And uh, it organic farming system promotes the highest revenue in the, uh, the after the result of the economy. So the before the organic farming system products that we they can sell at the high prices. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, good for the farmers. And how to improve the energy consumption poultry mania, especially transportation, the fertilizing uh, composting place to the Coffee production field is very important. The processing key to further assess the organic fertilizer systems. Okay, so I also checked the several papers. So the, the this is a very typical so the research in organic farming. Okay, I think the organic farming is uh, spread it all the world, and it's very hard to say the. Uh, women and also the men likes the, the organic farming if you compare the conventional the type of the farming. And the tea production also have a very aggressively to introduce the organic tea, uh, organic farming. This is the one of the photo of the organic tea production at Sri Lanka. They have a very big uh, company of the tea production and they also introduce certificate of the organic farming. And in Japan also we have a uh, such kind of certification system of the organic farming. I think this also, we need uh, such kind of life cycle assessment and so on, but there are no such kind of evaluation, just to the check the, how much the fertilizer use in a uh, uh, field. And uh, this is the uh, picture of the Kyoto prefecture. That is, uh, we have a Kyoto city inside the Kyoto prefecture, and the Watsuka town is the house part of the Kyoto prefecture. And this is little uh, the bound tennis area, and uh, this the tea is the product, uh, product uh, produced in a hill side of this mountains, and their taste is very good. However, I'm very surprised. In the, do you know the gyokuro tea? Maybe the nuguro san name of the gyokuro is the highest tea in Japan. Gyokuro, gyokuro. It looks like uh, how to say a little bit sticky, little bit, little bit sticky, like uh, seaweed, and uh, it tastes very uh, flavorous and also the how to say good the uh, mm, feeling of the taste. However, when they produce a gyokuro tea, uh, gyokuro tea, they need a chemical fertilizer much. <laughs> I'm very surprised. If the taste of the good of the gyokuro, they have to provide much uh, nitrogen of the chemi chemical fertilizer. 
this is very contradictory trend of the uh, trend of the uh, organic farming. So I know I want a good uh, organic farmer in the Waska town, and now I'm collecting the data from them and how to change it. And they need the four years changing from the conventional style, the, uh, the chemical use, the tea production to organic farming without chemicals. We can pesticide and uh, uh, yes, pesticide and herbicide. And uh, what is the most changing after uh, after introducing the organic farming? They said there are so many insects appears and many birds appear and also many snakes appear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it is a dangerous for us. And many bee, many bee appear. It means so just the changing to the natural situations. So sometimes so the farmer dislikes the snake and uh, yes. uh, yeah, it's a very dangerous and also the bee and the big bee is a very this uh, vintage hachi hachi, right? Hachi hachi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so uh, that's uh, just the changing after into this organic farm. So if you have a good tool, how to evaluate the organic farming uh, uh, after uh, introducing organic farming? It's a very uh, interesting for me. So if you have a good idea, how to evaluate the organic farming? Checking the number of the insects in the one spread and checking the bird or checking the snake and uh, also. But anyway, so if you have a good evaluation method after introducing organic farming, I think it's a very, very useful for any kind of the farming systems. Okay, and this is, the, <laughs> I pick up the interesting papers, and uh, this is the greenhouse gas impact of the combating food production in England and Wales to organic method. This is the uh, nature communication. It's one of the famous uh, papers, and uh, I'm very interested. This kind of the title is uh, the uh, uh, to article. It's published in the nature communications. And uh, introduction: uh, organic farming is eco-friendly. It is a general opinion, and uh, need to include the production and the associated land conversion elsewhere. And uh, there are two extent the analysis uh, uh, estimating the potential maximum food production from all agriculture to estimate effective national global heating gas balances and to assess the impact of the conversion of the agriculture to organic farming using agri life cycle assessment model. As I mentioned, <clears throat> as I mentioned, for my research question is a design. So it means so that they checked it if they introduce organic farming, what happened to their country and how much the food is required, uh, area is required, how much the food should be imported from the overseas. And they use their, uh, the study area, the city, England and Wales, and the model, the optimal land use model, and the agri LCA model, and the system variety from the cradle to farm gate. And uh, this is the one of the result of their uh, calculations. And uh, this is the production uh, to million ton per year. If, uh, if, uh, if we introduce the organic production, so the total production is decreased like this one. And uh, some cases uh, increase, but almost the wheat and the barley and the sugar beet, the total production is decreased after introducing our productions. And uh, this is the GHG emission for per unit production under the conventional and organic farming method. You can see the beans and the spring uh, barley and uh, the oats. So uh, it means, so the, how to say, that this is the com uh, conventional and organic, conventional and organic. So the, this uh, GHG emission is higher than the conventional. It means, so if we introduce the organic farming system, the total uh, GHG emission is higher the conventional than one before. So it means, so the contradictory the, uh, has the result after the introducing the organic farming. So we have to, I, I want to check this kind of the result in my case, the Japanese tea production after introducing organic farming and so on. And uh, the, also the, this is the overseas land area needed for imported food. Because so the 
organic farming, uh, almost case is the productivity is decreased after introducing it. It means so if we need the same amount of the food, we have to import from overseas. It means we need a more larger areas. Okay, and uh, there are several discussions. So the organic farming is suitable or not. And the fun is uh, if uh, we have a uh, plenty of the water. Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, so the mm, uh, so the how to solve it? The extended field to keep the same productivity. Okay, uh, it means so that if we introduce the organic farming, total productivity decreasing, we have to prepare the more extended. Fields. It's not good for the environment. In some cases we destroy the forest to extend our fields. So, uh, mm, so uh, there are many cases to the, uh, the variation result of the organic farming. And finally, so the, this is the result of there where widespread adoption of the organic farming leads to net increase in the GH emission as a result of lower crop and livestock yields. The need for the additional production and associated use of the land is challenged overseas. And how to improve yields under the organic management to reduce land carbon? This is just the most important uh, oh. <laughs> of the organic farming. And uh, it is also that we have to, more imports will be required to keep food supplies. <laughs> okay. And uh, I'd like to introduce our other name, uh, variability in uh, environment impact during the conversion from the conventional to organic farming uh, comparison among the three live production systems in Japan. This paper is uh, published in the Journal of Cleaner Production. So they want to check the, how to change the total productivity on the environment damage to the organic farming uh, in the paddy life fields. And they checked the five year, uh, this, uh, this kind of the, the non-organic and organics. And uh, this is the three type of the farming system. First one is the organic, next one is the environment friendly and the conventional. So organic farming doesn't use a pesticide, herbicide, and synthesized chemical fertilizer free. Uh, but so the environment friendly, they use this kind of the pesticide, herbicide, half of the frequency and synthesized chemical. The less than 5%, ah, 50% use the conventional. And the conventional use the pesticide, uh, herbicide, and use chemical fertilizers. And also uh, draw the material and the uh, energy flow like this one and set the system boundary and uh, make an inventory analysis and check it. Okay. And uh, also they use the echo invent uh, version 2.0 and JLCA database and check the global warming, acidification, eutrophication and non-renewable energies. And this is the environment address. And finally, so they found so that very, very fluctuated to the, their productivity. So that means so the total uh, carbon equivalent per kilogram per life is fluctuated year by year. So the, this is one of the results of their uh, research. Because so the, after introducing and uh, checked the conventional and eco-friendly uh, production system, so the very fluctuated and the organic farming also fluctuated. Uh, it means so that this is the conventional environment friendly and this is the organic. Okay, not, not so steadily, not, not uh, uh, robust. And uh, this is the organic farming system to fluctuate very largely so than a conventional system. This is the one of the results. And uh, in my experience, the, in a European countries or apple tree changing to the chemical use to the organic farming, like, uh, organic farming so they need that time. And the EU, European countries, so compensate the, some budget to, uh, pro, how to say, incubate to protect their changing period. So to uh, some budget to the farmer to have to endure and uh, keep the same profit. So I think this is the one of the strategy and uh, uh, good uh, political management for uh, uh, introducing the organic farming. Okay. Now anyway, so the total inventory analysis is fluctuated like uh, uh, global warming, acidification, eutrophication, and non-renewable energies. 
Okay, this is the uh, discussion and uh, conclusion. Only the environment impact associated with organic farming fluctuated widely over the years in all categories. And uh, understanding the stabilization mechanism that it reduced the degree of the intertemporal variability will be the key to development the best organic farming practices. But anyway, so the many researcher now trying to uh, check the organic farming, but uh, I think it is very difficult because I just say the more complicated than the engineering side. So that if you have a good sort of knowledge and uh, yeah, uh, experience, please uh, support me. Okay, and the next slide is the ethics for agriculture engineers. I think uh, almost the engineer, so the learner, uh, engineering ethics, right? Do you have a, do you, did you have a class? That kind of, yeah, yeah. And uh, this is the golden rule of the ethics. What mean the ethics? The code of the most of the world religious are the moral code common to all humankind. Christian and uh, Muslim and our Buddha said, so the, uh, please to do your, uh, 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 please do uh, to Yadad uh, who are favorited. And please don't to Yadad what you find uh, distasteful. So this is, uh, I think this is a golden rule of, of ethics. Uh, no related religious or no root rules or moral and so on. But so that we consider the, how to consider ethics is the more important, uh, uh, more and more in the near future. Okay, so this is uh, like a flow of the, uh, uh, how to consider the uh, ethics uh, to Yadda. So the main thing, so the ethics, uh, the people should consider the, uh, another person to, based on the ethics. However, so the engineering ethics is just consider the public from the engineer via the hardware and the software of the objects. So it means so that we have to consider the public the indirect. And the engineer, that is the, how to say the alumni of your university, uh, uh, make the good the products and uh, as uh, engineers. But in our case, so the faculty of uh, agriculture, they will be an engineer and no, no, producer of agriculture. Agriculture. I think this is one of the engineer. Engineer means so the close to the designer of the future. What kind of products they want to produce? That is a very important uh, role of them. Okay, so I extended this idea to the agriculture sector. So this is the basic the uh, uh, concept, the ethics issues for the engineers in engineers. However, so when we consider the ethics issues for engineers in agricultural sciences, we have to consider not only the human centrated responsibility, but also the life and environment and so on. I think the life cycle assessment, uh, we consider not only the profit, yeah, only, not only the sphere, human centrized responsibility, but also we consider the environment too. So that is uh, very close to my uh, concept. And but agricultural sciences, we have to extend more and more to the target of the uh, ethics. Okay, as you know, for the, this is one of the book, uh, sensitive book, Animal Liberation, uh, written by the C Peter Singer. The, it is very uh, how to say the sensitive uh, sen uh, the, how to say the critical issues of the uh, what we should eat what should we eat so as you know so the plant-based meat or the how to the cultivation meat it little bit of uh, recently the spreading over the world in the U.S. so the McDonald's use the plant-based protein coming from the soybean it's just the uh, changing the lifestyle for the food from the meat-based uh, meal to uh, meat-based uh, style to the plant-based uh, eating style. Because so the, there are so many, so the pain is occurred in uh, domestic animals. So uh, you have a lot the uh, halal foods, halal foods, halal food has a very severe protocol, how to slaughter the uh, animals. That is uh, minimizing the pain for uh, the, uh, the domestic animal, right? So I think the finally, so uh, if we eat the animals, so we have to consider it. And, uh, or, and finally, so if we 
kicked out uh, the quit to the eating to the meat so the all pain or all, all pain of the domestic abuse disappears mm -hmm. i think the young generation in a european country the us country so the consider uh, changing their lifestyle from the traditional foods lifestyle onto the vegan and vegetarian. Because of when I go to the US and Canada, so the restaurant menu set with the, this is the vegan, this is the vegetarian and so forth. Yeah, I think the all young generation in the world, so uh, consider the, uh, the uh, how to say the other person deeply and also extended the mind to the other uh, pet and uh, domestic animals. Okay, so the, and uh, Peter Singer just have a one uh, boundary, the borderline to the uh, animal and plant. He said, plant cannot feed pain. Animal can feed pain, but plant cannot feed. That means so we can eat the vegetables. But I think the other person, maybe the <laughs> agricultural scientist check the stress of the, uh, plant that uh, we, we make up stress for the tomato or the fruit, they the sweetness will be increased. Okay, that is our, how to say that their lifestyle to, uh, how to keep the good seed for the next generation. But anyway, so the uh, if we easily to check the how much the pain it occur in uh, each food, so the animal or fish or the shrimp and the clam and so on, I think we can consider the what kind of food we can eat. And this food, this is the plant uh, had a central uh, animal feeding operation. This is like a factory of the meat. I think this is not good for the domestic animals. They have a very narrow space and cannot sit in the bottom and they provide only the steel on the floor. But there are some cases so that we can produce our animal on the, uh, the, uh, on the field and, uh, uh, and no, no gauge and uh, eating freely and uh, there are much space and so they can pregnant and make a baby for the good circumstances. I think it's one of the solutions uh, when we eat the meat, that is their insist. Okay, but anyway, so if we have a such kind of a feeling, how to measure the pain and the comfortability of the domestic animal, I think it's a very um, new index for the life cycle assessment for in agriculture. Yeah, okay. Yes, and uh, what the drive the advance in agriculture, I already showed this kind of graph. And, uh, this is uh, one or two uh, world young, and in, in uh, based on the Chinese the, uh, philosophy. So that this is just the black color, uh, gray color, show the free from the heavy labor in the farming by mechanization and uh, prioritize the efficiency and uh, how to say economic consideration over environment preservation, fossil energy, modern agriculture, large five farming and fast food and a strong system of agriculture production and distribution uh, and uh, governed by the major corporation. But we changed to this world to the in. So the, what kind of the keyword it appeared? And the sustainable agriculture, natural farming, decentralized and network type society, food, uh, slow food, renewable energy, integration, the ethics, environmental ethics, and the attention to the food, food and the quality of life, not only the human, but also the animals. As you can imagine the pet in the shop of the puppy, and uh, cattle, uh, uh, cute, sorry, uh, baby cat, how to say? Cute. Kettle. Kettle, kettle, yeah. So the, uh, the breeder, so the sell this uh, uh, baby of the animal to the shop, but it's very severe circumstances for the, this uh, pet. So the recently, so we have a very severe rules, uh, regulation in Japan. So breeder can, the a certain number of the uh, dog and the maker uh, can breed the baby. And we will uh, 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 this make a disappear of the, such a pet shop. So that we are feeling that not only the uh, human, but also the pet. 
I think this is uh, the direction to maybe so the domestic mm -hmm. animal. I think you feel very cute, the dog and uh, uh, the, like uh, chicken and so on. I think so that our feeling to change to not only the human, to the human, uh, be, uh, that kind of the domestic animals. In that uh, case, so the, what we should do? <laughs> Maybe so uh, it's uh, very important so the our ac uh, action so the I think life cycle assessment I expect to do the how to measure their feeding of the animal and the domestic animal and plant. But anyway, so that is my, my next research. Uh, what is the index is suitable for our food? But anyway, so the, this is one of uh, my proposal and the research uh, to proposal. Okay. So finally, so I'd like to uh, introduce the, this is the, now and uh, explain the ethics for the agriculture engineering. But I'd like to seek the agriculture ethics engineering. Okay. Uh, ethics for agriculture engineering to the agriculture ethics engineering. I think engineering will be solved and to propose a new ethics in agriculture and for the consumer of the food. Okay, that's all <laughs> my presence. Maybe go to the chat. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, so I can I continue? My yeah, yeah. okay, okay. And uh, I'd like to introduce my lab research, and uh, this is just a proposal for the uh, my laboratory in Kyoto University. And uh, uh, my uh, how to say final research is uh, how to say what should human eat, and what is the ethics of animal, plant and the living organism. The Kyoto University is a very unique university and the second national university after establishing the Tokyo, University of Tokyo, so the Kyoto University was established. And there are different characteristics in the, from the uh, University of Tokyo and the Kyoto University. Tokyo University, uh, University of Tokyo contributes a lot of the politicians and the government because so they their capital city and uh, their location is very close to the Tokyo and many professors contribute to politicians and so forth. However, so the Kyoto University is a little far from the Tokyo and we consider the, how to say it, uh, uh, silent theory, uh, silent uh, circumstances, and consider deeply. So, what is the philosophy? Is that means so we produce uh, many novelists, uh, the many uh, fields, and especially science and uh, medical science, and that is a very strong point of the Kyoto University. And uh, I remained uh, only the eight point to half years in a. Uh, Kyoto University before the retirement, so that I get to see uh, what should human eat, and by using the life cycle assessment and the other method. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is the, my the background of the academic question: and what should I eat, and how to how should it? Uh, yeah, you have to consider the use. So I'm used not only the life cycle assessment, and also the sometimes the different method experiment and so on. And the main research theme is the biomass resource energy station and the impact aspects with a focus on Southeast Asia. Now, uh, Reza san is uh, just my PhD student in the University of Tsukuba, just considering the land swapping, land swapping in the Kalimantan. So you have uh, plenty of the uh, old palm plantation in Kalimantan on the peatland. But the peat, if you use the peatland, so the many global gas, uh, warming gas is emitted. If we change to this place to the other mineral land, uh, upland areas, so that you can increase the productivity, also the prevent the uh, global gas emissions. So it is one of the example of the research of the, this tema. And this is also the food production system that is to take into the account human nutrient needs, energy, and environmental assessment. So one of my former uh, PhD student from the Cambodia. So I asked her what kind of the traditional food in Cambodia. And the old 
people. So if we, they eat the traditional food, how much the save of the environment damage or the, how much the food uh, should be produced or import. So this is very interesting story. I think traditional food is very good for your health and because uh, your DNA is suitable for the, your traditional foods. And this is the one the research and smart combustion biomass for the carbon sequestration, soil improvement and the benefits. Rice uh, combustion is a very, very traditional method, but now we are considering how to keep the good environment for the uh, field and the neighborhood and for the workers. Sometimes for the crystallite, that the crystallite uh, uh, silica is occurred with a high temperature and a long time combustion. So that we uh, checked it and what kind of the uh, combustion is suitable for the oil and take uh, maximize to the energies. And this is the final, so that my new tema is uh, developing the autonomous speed sprayer. But it's also the uh, important, the role for the ethics for the consumer. So in a, uh, like uh, this uh, fruits, in Japan, so we have many fruits in a uh, peach and uh, Japanese pear and uh, apples. I like this taste very much, but of course they use many, many chemicals, 10 times spraying per year, uh, over the 10 times uh, spraying the chemicals in a tree per year. It means so that if we stop to the chemical, the insect is easy to come and bite it and destroy it for the selling. So that we have the spraying of the pesticide and it is indispensable the farming. So the but so the operator of the speed sprayer so the catch it and uh, how to say affect the damage of the pesticide spraying. So the, this uh, autonomous vehicle can save the such kind of the health condition of the operators. So that means for well, this uh, autonomous autonomous agricultural uh, machinery is very important role of the agricultural sectors. But anyway, so this is my new tema. So I'd like to consider the, how what kind of the spraying system uh, is best for the orchard tree. And also I'd like to check the environment damage or the human risks so by using life cycle assessment after introducing this kind of the technologies. I, okay, uh, that's all <laughs> my presentation. <laughs> it's okay? <laughs> Maybe over 30 minutes. <laughs> you can continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, but almost finished. So I just did uh, uh, show the summer presentation of the how to develop the autonomous speed spray system and uh, just uh, learning on the fifth. Okay, I, I can show the one uh, uh, so example. Sorry, so that this stop and go, but in my PC, it uh, smoothly running. And uh, this, this is just running on the feet of that tree. So that we introduced a dwarf and a high density uh, fruit system. So that this is, looks like a tomato, so just in the, in the tree. And a very fragile, so the branch, so we support the uh, pole and wires. But anyway, so this is the target of the, my autonomous speed sprayer system. That there are no operator inside. There are no operator inside. So that this uh, speed sprayer run one time in the from the expert. So they remember the loop and the timing of the spray. Mm -hmm. If there are there are no trees, there are no spray. But after finding the tree, so that this uh, speed automatically spray. So if if we successfully introduce this kind of system of the speed sprayer, uh, there are no need to the operator inside or outside, and uh, it can uh, save the health problem, health risk from the pesticide, and they can use it to spray it. 
And normally, so the men should operate. <laughs> Women, <laughs> it's like this. You see GPS? <laughs> yes, yes, GPS. Yeah. RGK GPS. And the total cost of this um, is not so expensive. Uh, less than two thousand US dollars or something, and it's just we use a very uh, common, not technology and common uh, devices. And uh, uh, we just cooperate with the Maria Maceo and the one agriculture company, and uh, uh, consider to how to commercialize this uh, system to the, uh, after uh, five or ten years. But anyway, so this kind of system, I'd like to introduce your country too. So if you yeah, I have a chance. And the important thing, so that before, please insist is the risk of the human uh, by using life cycle assessment. And the, what is the so dangerous to the farmer and environment using the chemicals? And then if your story is something to, to, to the government side, I think the policy maker will change their mind. Okay, this area should be <laughs> improved. Should be improved. Yeah. So they're spraying dangerous yeah, gas. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, how much the effect is the human, the farmer, mm -hmm. and the environment, and all, not only the human but also the <laughs> animal, insect, snake, <laughs> and so on. And uh, if you keep the good natural environment, I think we should reduce the chemicals. And uh, uh, finally, so that this spraying system changes to a not an uh, from analog to the digital. And so I also now develop the digital sensor, the how much the spray using a 3D laser sensor and also the RSID sensor, how much the water is sprayed on the uh, leaf. So the digitalization and the smart farm that we are conducting cooperate with the uh, IPP. So uh, I think uh, we will successfully uh, spray to the test site, minimize and also keep the environment. I think life science assessment is a very important you know, to uh, appeal to so, uh, how much uh, damage is occurred, the spray with the pesticide and herbicide in the field, and what kind of technology should be introduced, like the automatic or other safety system. And finally, we can create the digital science. That, that's my uh, opinion and my activity in my laboratory. Okay, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. Moderator, Pak Deba. Ini baru kita tes, tes, tes. Tes. Tes, suaranya masuk gak? Masuk Pak Nuk. Masuk. Tes. Yeah, uh, thank you, Nongu uh, Sensei, for your nice presentation. Uh, actually, moderator, so me, Dr. Deba, you can sit here. Please. Sam, I have to mobile. <laughs> but uh, let me try to uh, to be the moderator for this moment. Actually, uh, I interest with your presentation about the LC on the tea farming. Because of recent, we have a project with the Suntory. Suntory is a Japanese company, mm -hmm. and they have a plant, a tea plantation here, uh, corporate with the local farmer and local companies, mm -hmm. and they are, now they are conducting the LCA for, for the tea industry. Maybe we can corporate <laughs> with you, and then uh, mm -hmm. we can mention to the Suntory that we also have a Kyoto University to back up us yeah, yeah. for the project. Yeah. Uh, the lead of the project is Bu Dr. Rosmeta. Okay. Uh, so you the, the, the their, yeah. their interest. Uh, there are no third party. So do you have to bring the good results, right? You have to show the good results. Yeah, we yeah. 
Sometimes for the crowd, the crowd is covered in much bigger variation by the LPA. So this is the wild way. So there are no objections there. Are no objections. Mm -hmm. Is it possible? Yeah, yeah, we conduct many uh, research activities in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so the private company has to use yeah. the live samples. If you show the bank results of the live samples, maybe the Oh, samples. we have to be very objective. No, 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 we, can, we cannot do that. Uh, it's, we we make report, it's, it's up to them. They want to do something else, it's up to them. Oh. But we, we report as the actual. As it is but objective. We, because you are the fine, uh, you are um, coming from the you are part, part right? You are done. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. It's a part of the consultancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that means uh, that you have to uh, judge if we good or not. Yeah, either to the people. Yeah, we we <laughs> we not make judgment, uh, sensei. We just show the result yeah. as the objective uh, as we can. Just uh, it, not not open to the public. Directly to them. It's confidential, it's up to them. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, you have about the vote to the to the public. Yeah, as the publication, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's based on the agreement, that's possible, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can discuss that one later because it's very interesting. And it's also the Japanese company, and you can uh, you have the experience also to, to do the same research yeah. as well with same like with us. Uh, we have some question here uh, from Yono Brin. Noguchi Sensei did the chemical to organic farming shift in oops, uh, to Wazuka Tor increase optimal expenditure which to fertilizer cost. <laughs> Did the chemicals to organic farming shift in Wazuka town increase for crown expenditures? And finally, to the slide of the. You still mute your, your mic. Okay, so finally, so the. Uh, just a moment. Uh, please go to your. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, to finally, so the total price of the products from the organic farming is higher than the before. And uh, the one organic farmer keep the productivity and, and uh, less productivity than the conventional round. Because uh, there are so much task and so much labor is required to the organic farming. The total productivity is lower than before conventional style, but the total price is higher and there are no need to use the chemicals, no need to chemical fertilizers, and, but they use uh, some organic fertilizer, but the total cost is decreased. And recently, so the price of the fertilizer increasing, increasing year by year, uh, the same uh, the, after the, uh, the Ukraine conflict and the war and so on. Uh, uh, yeah. Ma, so yeah, so I think the uh, the detail current farming was going to increase our expenditure. Uh, no, no, uh, not so much. They are very successful after the changing to the uh, to chemical use the farming system to the organic farming system. But they have to wait uh, more than four years, four to five years, changing successfully to uh, recover the productivity from the conventional farming system. They have to uh, wait uh, four to five years in that period so that their profit is decreased. <laughs> is it okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Yeah, it depends on the, uh, the, the typical of the farming itself, right? Yeah. Uh, the overall source can be ex, ex, expanded or not. Uh, the second, the, the, the second, second is from. Because we know how much the of the to require to increase. Ah, sorry, I need not I don't have this data because we just did a study the investigation. So finally, so I want to get it. Okay. Yeah, some some cases, private company. This is the very very secret. So I asked some. Uh, a company which they also introduced the organic farming in Wazka town. I asked him, please provide the data. They stopped it. 
because just uh, the had the important skill and uh, like the technique and farming system for and they want to eat it a confidential so uh, at the confidential but i have a good uh, uh, to organic farmer to, who she is of chinese but very uh, japanese language frequently and she opened all the data i think that we can get easily to the uh, personal organic farmer <laughs> directly not the private mm, yeah Okay, mm -hmm. I, I got it. So I will write it in the paper or report so I can show it. <laughs> okay, thank you. So we'll, you will publish too. Yeah, what is <laughs> the of uh, Okay, okay. Uh, how about the, another question for, from Nokiando, Gyar, and Lu, and Mitun? Question to Professor Nokuchi. How analyzing, how to analyze and see how we are growing forestry, forestry cropping patterns like coffee and many fruits? crops and applicating organic farming and grow forestry. Thank you. Uh, so I don't have enough, uh, <laughs> enough experience to the how to analyze and how, maybe so the important how to collect the data from the field. So the maybe so the IPB and the Pajan University had a very good connection of the field. They have uh, not only the agriculture sector but also the forest forestry areas. So that if we have a good relationship, this kind of forest and uh, agriculture sectors, I think we can successfully get data, enough data for analyzing it. Maybe that is the first step to uh, introducing analyzing the data. Yeah. Uh, okay. My, My question. question. <laughs> if you have a question from from the floor here, we have uh, many people here. Yeah. Uh, on stage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please <laughs> by as a, as a, on behalf of the suku alumni. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, as uh, we discussed here, that uh, organic, organic farming is, it seems better than uh, chemical hmm. farming. Mm -hmm. But uh, like before the question, how to measure the optimum size uh, the fertilizers, for instance. Uh, it was uh, something like M, P, and K. Mm. Do we need to be sure mm. in the soil that it's a uh, sensor? Yeah, so, yeah, we just checking the only the input, amount of the input, amount of the input, how much the fertilizer that we use. So oh, the, yeah. but so we did not check the how much the fertilizer that still remain in the soil. I think it's an almost important thing, but we did not check it, uh, uh, how much the remaining of the fat, uh, fat rate on the spot. So we just uh, checking the total amount of the input. Yeah, because uh, less is not good for the and more is not good as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, so maybe if we use of the organic farming, farming it is uh, easy to measure. Mm, mm, mm. Therefore, it is hard to measure. How much uh, that pleasure should we give to the soil? Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Um, yes, that's my question. Because now in our uh, research group, we design the uh, instruments or uh, the device to reserve yes, the yes, soil yes. N, P, and K on planting phases using the light, using light, then to measure, mm. and we hope it will be uh, cheaper than our productivity machine. Which is uh, uh, in 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 uh, in to the soil. It is not happening in the soil. Just no. we give the light something like that. I see. I see. Uh, I just want to add uh, some information. Doctor Jaya and his team. I uh, just uh, received the grant from the government. From the government. Uh, we, uh, we call it REDM. Riset Indonesia Maju, Riset dan Inovasi untuk Indonesia Maju. And uh, in this uh, innovation, our team try to develop uh, non 
intrusive uh, yeah. measurement yeah. and then continuous measurement for the to measure any kind of the uh, soil properties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes, I think the, the measuring the soil property is very important to load. Uh, I also the same thing after the checking and the user life cycle assessment. So we want to <laughs> do our sensing right on the field to, to get the more precise data and the real time data. But anyway, so I also uh, developed one uh, sensor for the checking the how much the pesticide spray on the orchard tree. I think the sensing is uh, one of the important role for our research team. Is it okay? <laughs> yeah. We yeah. hope we can collect uh, the data for national yeah. uh, CID database. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, is there in Kyoto University uh, um, something in the subject? Yeah, uh, to many agriculture engineer and the professor in the uh, national university in Japan. So the how to check the, the NPK in the field. So after the learning the tractor and automatically check the, the sensing. Now, especially the nitrogen, especially nitrogen. Yeah. related to the precision and agriculture. Yes, that's right. Precision and agriculture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And another question, maybe from the. Oh, okay. okay. Uh -huh. yeah, it's crazy, uh, sorry, I don't have enough knowledge so that how to measure the chemical fertilizer or to affect the soil, right? Your question is okay. Is the method for knowing the to measure how to measure the fertilizer emission in the soil? Emission and soil. Some of the nitrogen is emitted to the air, right? And yeah. some emission just stay in the soil. Sorry, so I don't have enough knowledge how to measure it. But there's several measurement methods because of the mm, nitrogen and the denitrification in uh, from the soil, just the uh, yeah, it's such a measure. Okay. So so I don't have enough knowledge about it. Uh, only not only calculation, only by the checking of the some sensors. Yeah. 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 Any any question from Zoom? Uh, please. <laughs> Yes, I think so. But uh, I think the price of the organic product is higher than the conventional normally, right? So if, uh, if you find a brand with uh, the organic farming tea and the conventional tea, I think the price is the uh, organic tea is higher than the conventional. So it means so the rich person can easily access, but normal people cannot access to that. Well, it's one of the problem. Yeah. Oh, see. So the effort that you plan is organic is better than online. Yes, that's right. Yeah, because so the, there are no chemicals. No, uh, no, the, no uh, how to say, and there are no afraid of the how to say the remaining of the some sub, sub, uh, substances. Yeah, yeah, easy to take it. And so the, there are so many children who are very nervous about the food, the allergy, and so on. That in that case, or the 
uh, organic food is very important the food for those yeah Ma uh, the mother of his uh, their children so they have to pay a lot of money for the, to keep the health of the children so I, th I think there are so many demand of the organic food and you mentioned also about the rice, mm -hmm. rice uh, fields. Mm, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, that's why right, the organic uh, rice, uh, more, I mean, it's uh, good to yes, grow yes. and uh, there are a lot of farmers. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I think there are many farmers struggling to how to keep the organic farming. Yeah, the, there are so many successful st stories in Japan, organic farming, but it's only the spot. Spot, 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 spot with a location, spot, spot, but not to extend it. So the almost the area with a use of conventional farming. So we have a one a good story of the apple tree, apple tree production, and Kiseki no Ringo that the miracle apple, so that written by the Japanese. But this method not the, the, have not been spread it so far. I think the, the some uh, agricultural production it affected the environment largely. So the, if there's some spot successfully, but the other is not successful, it's a very common situation in Japan. Yeah. 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 From. Uh, okay. So uh, when I uh, hear about organic farming, organic food, it sounds so fancy, it's not expensive. It's <laughs> kind of like um, if we compare it to clothes, it feels like designer clothes. <laughs> So everybody can afford that. <laughs> and moreover, in Indonesia, we so many people are still undernourished, malnourished. Mm -hmm. uh, they can't even purchase conventional like mm -hmm. uh, farming produce. So what's your opinion on that? Can we as a nation uh, go to that uh, uh, I mean take that route into more, uh, having more, you know, with the organic farming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in my opinion, so the organic farming, one of the ethics, because of the, our ethics, not only the present people, but also next generations. So if we have a uh, opinion, uh, so we have to keep the good environment for the next generation. So that we have to stop the destroying of the environment. It means so that if we introduce uh, organic farming, the our mind emerging, the our next generation, and so we uh, keep and remain the good environment. But uh, I think the very ideal condition. I think European co country so if we uh, have the same opinion. But in the current the, uh, the developing country or the economic growth country. So they have to seek so that they are Inca and they have to taste the food fast. It means so that organic farming is uh, very difficult to, to, to spread it. But so that after the, how to say, the uh, saturated of the growth of the population and the decrease, you know, we consider the how to uh, act our lifestyle and how to think for the expression based on the ethics. It doesn't mean so that uh, organic farming is one of the alternatives of my, our lifestyle. <laughs> is it <Thank> okay? You. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I have a question. I have a question regarding the Kyoto University, uh, your faculty. Yeah. How big is it? And how, how big and how many people are uh, working in the same field? with us and then how, how we start, start to cooperate. Cooperate, uh, yeah. you mean how many faculty under the agriculture? Yes, yes, something like that. How, how many people or researchers working on the same field? Same, same, same agriculture engineering, you mean? Yeah, it also can be part of the yeah. You mean a life cycle assessment? Yes, yes. <laughs> and now I'm belonging to the faculty of agriculture. I think the faculty of engineering also have such kind of the life cycle. Yeah. There, are, there are no uh, specific, uh, special laboratory who concentrate the focus only the life cycle assessment. But so every, we don't have a such kind of the flexibility research institute in our uh, university. Uh, maybe 
agriculture engineering side and also the soil science and the, how to say agro breeding side, they need feed. The life cycle assessment is a very important role, but we don't have such kind of the, how to say, the unique the center for the environmental okay. assessment. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any question? From Zoom? Halo. Jam satu, jam satu. Di Ulsan Halo, Sensei. Halo, how are you? Oke, thank you, Deska. Ya, I just uh, want to know what what is your uh research focus related to LCA because uh, there is uh, some some research you introduced to us about the agriculture but uh, i think the last question is interesting the the chemical movement soil mm. the yeah, yeah i think this is uh, one of trend uh, actually i i am not from agriculture but but i think uh, there is a uh, one one possibility for measuring the chemical movement from pesticide or something from plant to soil is will be a good, yeah, yeah, yeah. good topic <laughs> and interesting so uh, yeah uh, yeah thank you very much for uh, visiting our our <laughs> brain so but yeah, yeah. unfortunately i'm still <laughs> not in brain so yeah maybe next year you can visit again <laughs> yeah yeah please come to kyoto please come to kyoto <laughs> ah yeah yeah yes <laughs> Ito, yeah yeah thank you very much thank you very much yeah happy for why he returned to indonesia I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I uh, frequently visit Indonesia. <laughs> um, so I need your help uh, largely. So uh, please support so our research activity. <laughs> so any okay, I, I need to leave now, Mr. Rukruho. Yeah, yeah. I need to leave now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salam to Saya taruh di chat. Oh, enggak. langsung aja, Pak. Terlama kalau dibacain. Eh, singkat itu. Langsung Uh, so I'd like to ask him, ask them, so that uh, I want to know who want to get a PhD in Japan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh, offered to everyone who attend the seminar, for online, offline. Any person who is interested in conduct the PhD degree in Kyoto City? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Noguchi Sensei open the open the opportunity now. So if you have an interest in the Kyoto University, please contact me via the Nogura Yeah, uh, Sensei, actually our brain over the space, we call it a degree by research. So, Kyoto University is one of the uh, university has uh, cooperation with Green. Mm -hmm. So, we can pass uh, oh. the staff from here, from Green or not Green, to your university. Okay, in the By beginning, so the short stay or the one that stay, no problem. So, the fit come to the Kyoto and share my rights. Okay. okay, so it means that there is going to be contact in Indonesia, but we great from Kyoto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> People, people can still work uh, in daily activities. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, very interesting in uh, your countries. You know, huge biomass, huge products. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very huge people. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yang mau kuliah Kyoto University, tidak perlu tugas kerja. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, question from Dr. Octavik is the agricultural ethic engineering can give better LC or sustainability value? The last question. And this I think this is the last question, and then we because you have to go yeah, yeah. to another place. Agriculture can give a better to Yeah, I, I think the, it's okay. <laughs> Salahnya nggak urban. Itu kan rumput ini panjang itu. Yeah. But anyway, so the S6 is a very important role in my opinion. So the S6, uh, engineering S6 is a one uh, uh, the subject that who should take a uh, class for the engineer. But so the S6 will affect the how to analyze our engineering method. That means so the agri ethics engineering is that my proposal to the make good keyword for you are promoting your research. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, sensei, once again, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. please give a big applause to uh, our uh, Thank you. We have a thousand people here. It's pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> ini kita sekarang punya thank you for everyone who come uh, on the hybrid, hybrid especially people who attend the this uh, seminar by Zoom. Uh, thank you very much. Hope uh, everyone here can continue discussion and then make the good conversation with us. Especially, we are very happy to, to make the discussion and cooperation in the near future. Thank you very much. Uh, sebelum kita tutup, kita ada sedikit. We have a small souvenir for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, 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 kita This is a new business. This is a really Thank <laughs> you.
Ngobrol bersama untuk bersama ya. Mau foto bersama semua? Saya foto ini. Sekarang ada ini, ada oke, Pak. Satu, dua, oke, 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 Master. Oh, okay. But we only can provide 
Thank you. 